everyone to the Portland School of Innovation graduation ceremony. Congratulations upon arriving at this important milestone. We give thanks tonight to our generous host, Central Baptist Church, and Associate Pastor of Worship, Mr. Lowe, for hosting us here this evening and assisting with our sound. We would like to welcome to the podium one of our graduates who will lead us in an invocation and a graduate speech, Ms. Ella Jones. As you can tell, 
We're not doing that this year. <laughs> Sorry. We don't have a place big enough that these, yeah, yeah it, it was a, yeah. Okay, let's see how many people's here. Anyway, so I, I do believe that this is our 10th year doing this, and it's wonderful. And in keeping our ceremony short, because we have a lot of names to read, I do want to do what I typically do and give my words of wisdom, my sage advice. Hopefully you'll take this with you. I'm sure that you will remember it years from now. I didn't, want, I didn't make any of this up. I just... These are words of advice from other great minds out there in the universe. Some real, some fictional. Some you say, I know that. That's okay. So I'm going to begin. At graduation, you get to wear a cap and a gown, but it's a good idea to also wear something underneath it. You will never have more energy or enthusiasm, hair or brain cells than you have today. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. The Terminator said that. Oh, so your families are extremely proud of you. You can't imagine the sense of relief they are experiencing right now. This would be a most opportune time to ask for money. <laughs> if you think you are too small to be effective, you have never been in the dark with a mosquito. Dance like nobody's watching, because they are not. They are all checking their phones. <laughs> Follow your path of, and your passion. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path, unless you're in the woods and you're lost. And you see a path, then by all means, you should follow that path. Okay, I have to paraphrase this one. If you like DC Comics, you'll know what I'm talking about here. It's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. Anybody know that one? Batman. Do or do not, there is no try. Yoda. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Once again, congratulations. I would now like to ask our graduates to please stand. And I would like to ask our Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Cindy Davis, to come forward. Ms. Davis. I would like to present to you the graduates of the class of 2022. They have completed all of the state graduation requirements and are ready to receive their diplomas. On behalf of the Corbin Board of Education and the Kentucky State Board of Education, I accept your presentation of this class. And because they have completed all the requirements, they may receive their diplomas as graduates of Corbin Independent School District. I just want to take a moment to say congratulations to the class of 2022. And I know uh, that many of you standing here today, uh, I had when you were at the primary school, uh, I'll see some of these faces I had at the, at the middle school as well and uh, some new faces that I've not met. But I know that uh, a lot of us here today have had to overcome some obstacles to obtain this high school diploma. So 
I am blessed to have the opportunity today to recognize each of you for putting in the hard work despite those obstacles that you've had to face. And not allowing, excuse me, not allowing anything to stand in your way to obtain this success. And so in this moment, I want you to take the time to cherish the success of your hard work. I hope that this success keeps following you in everything that you do. Don't be afraid to dream new dreams. To embark on who you are. To embrace life with a passion and to enjoy what is ahead of you. Once again, congratulations, class of 2022. I wish you the best of luck. Graduating with a diploma from Corbin High School, Logan Matthew Bowe.
Gianna Robertson.
to thank Superintendent Dave Cox and our Deputy Superintendent Sydney Davis and the Corbin Board of Education members for always being so supportive of our programs. Thanks to Ms. Barton for her diligence and kind commitment to her students at the Corbin Educational Center. Thanks to the administration at CHS, Mr. Jewell, Ms. Dixon, Mr. Watkins, and the guidance counselors who have always been there to assist us so that we can help our students to be successful. We would like to recognize the faculty and staff at our schools who worked tirelessly with each of all the students along the way to make this day possible for them. And finally, to Mark Daniels, our principal at the School of Innovation. Our programs would not exist if it were not for Mark, and we cannot express enough appreciation to him. Graduates, please stand. You may now move your tassel to the graduated position. Congratulations.